My parents had both died in a car crash, and I was at my lowest point in a small town in West Virginia. I was 17, almost 18, living with my grandma and struggling to find some good work. While walking down the street to get a newspaper to check for job offers, I walked past a small flower shop named Rosemary's Roses that had a piece of paper with handwritten cursive writing that stated, Night guard needed for my flower shop. Thieves keep stealing my rare flowers. Requirements. At least 18 with a tall and muscular figure. Ask inside. $125 per night. I looked at that number over and over and thought, $125? Count me in. And I went inside. There was a frail looking old lady at the counter, who I'm guessing was Rosemary and she was reading a botany magazine. She greeted me with, Hello, darling. Would you like to make a purchase or just browse? And I instantly responded with, Oh, um, I wanted to apply as a night guard. She looked at my form, and her face lit up as she said, Well, all right. No time for interviews. There's really not much to this job. Your shift starts today. Take this key and come back at 12 p.m. Your shift ends at 7.30. I was surprised with how desperate she was. Maybe it was my form. I'm 6'3 and halfway to being shredded. Or the problem was as bad as she was making it seem. As the clock hit 11.30 p.m., I arrived and unlocked the door to the shop. The lights were out and I could barely see, so I stumbled over to the light switch and turned it on. On the small table where Rosemary would sit, next to the giant Venus flytrap, was another piece of paper with the same cursive on it. There stood, Hello, night guard. Welcome to the job. You may sit in my chair and browse through my gardening magazines or use your mobile device, if you have one, during your free time. There are several rules to this job, so please read them thoroughly. If you are confused by the plant types mentioned, Refer to the signs next to them. Rule 1. Conduct a patrol every hour. Make sure everything is in its place and that there's no one snooping around. Rule 2. If you're walking in the back next to the rare flower section and the climbing rose starts growing rapidly and is squirming, grab a pair of the provided wire cutters and cut off at least 5 inches of it before sealing the cut part with plant glue. Do this quickly, or it might wrap itself around you. Rule 3. If the giant Venus flytrap on your desk starts screaming while you are in the time between your patrols, hide under your desk. You'll see a figure resembling a man covered in leaves walking around. Grab the provided hydrochloric acid spray bottle and spray it five to six times. It will scream and try to hit you, but it will die before it can. Rule 4. At around 1.30, if you notice an abundance of morphed looking bees around, while on your patrol, or at the desk, grab the beekeeper suit in the drawer of the desk, and the same hydrochloric acid, and locate the hive. It will usually be dark brown and be in the back room of the shop near the hibiscus. Spray it three times and then get out of there fast. Rule 5. If a customer enters, then respond to its request. It will ask for either a Blightus comparatus, red pine, or black vine. None of these exist. If it asks for a Blightus comparatus, tell it that we're all sold out. If it asks for a red pine, oblige, grab a red rose from the back and give it to it. If it asks for a black vine, Look in the drawer and find the small pistol which is in there. Threaten it to leave, and if it doesn't, use the pistol to neutralize it. Remember to make sure it starts evaporating before returning to your duties. Rule 6. If on your patrol you start to hear the flowers talking to you, locate the exact flower and pull it out with the root, and dispose of it in the waste bin. Rule 7. There might be flower pots or flowers moving around during your patrols, so make sure to put them back or replant them. 
Rule 8. If an actual thief enters the store, make him get on the floor and call the police with the landline if you don't have a cell phone. If he threatens you or doesn't listen, do what you think's right. I laughed and thought the lady had a problem or something. And then I went out on the requested patrol. I was walking near the rare flower section when I saw some movement in the corner of my eye. The climbing rose, it was moving. I was fascinated and looked at it for a good while before it started coming to me. I continued marveling at it when it latched onto my arm and started tightening. Its thorns dug into my skin and I quickly reached for the wire cutters which were almost out of my reach and I cut the stuff off. It quickly fell limp and I sealed its amputated part with the plant glue. After the encounter, I studied my wounds and found the holes in my arms weren't that bad, so I didn't try to patch them up. I quickly realized that the lady wasn't kidding about the rules. I was 30 minutes into my free time when I heard some relatively quiet screeching. I looked around when I noticed it was coming from the giant Venus flytrap. I looked through the rules and quickly said, oh crap, before hiding. A tall figure which looked like a man with a ghillie suit on, strolled through the area with a limp. I examined its form before it went out of my sight. I grabbed the acid bottle and ran out of the space under the desk. It looked at me and screeched, so I sprayed it. It started sprinting towards me, and right when it was about to hit me, it evaporated, and I was caked with its dust. At 1.20 a.m., 10 minutes after an uneventful patrol, I heard a slight buzzing that sounded distant. At 1.25 a.m., I saw the mentioned bees, but thought nothing of it. At 1.30 a.m., I noticed the sheer volume of bees that had collected. I kind of recoiled and donned the beekeeper suit and the spray bottle. As I walked over to the back room, I could barely hear. The buzzing was too loud, and my vision was almost non-existent with the number of bees. I reached the nest, and it was bigger than an eight-year-old. I panicked, and I sprayed it about ten times in two seconds, with a trigger finger which I never knew I had, and I ran. I heard a loud pop behind me, and a horde of bees coming towards me, and then it fell silent. The bees were all gone, and so was the nest. At around 2 a.m., before a patrol, the mentioned customer had arrived. It was almost average looking, but with the dark hollow eyes of a sleep deprived college student. It was wearing formal attire and it asked for a red pine, thankfully. I gave it a bright red rose and it thanked me before leaving. During the next patrol, I heard distinct whispering. I stopped and listened and realized someone or something was trying to talk to me. Hey. Come here, man, I heard from the corner. I walked over before realizing that there was nothing there except for a red tulip. Then I recalled rule six. I attempted to grab the tulip next to the root, but then it did something that made me stop in my tracks. I could hear my parents. They begged me not to pull out the tulip. I sort of obliged before pushing myself to rip it out. You can bet that I dunked that stupid tulip into the trash. During the next two to three patrols, some object movement happened, but nothing serious. I did notice that the same guy walked past the store like six times, just peering into the front window. I pulled out the pistol, which was a small Walther PPK, just in case, but I never used it. My situation was really bad then, and living with my grandma didn't make anything better. I contemplated continuing that strange job just for the pay.